Hey Leo, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Leo. So if you're a Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Leo, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid. Rose can get reversed, so take how it resonates. Okay, Ten of Swords, the Devil, King of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay, you could be dealing with a Capricorn here. This is someone who is constantly thinking about the ending that has happened here. Uh, th this is also someone who's feeling very, very powerless here, almost like they did not have any control over how things went south uh, is what i got or right now they don't have any control over how things are between the both of you right now like th this is someone who's feeling like they are not in control or the kind of helpless kind of a person uh, someone who's feeling helpless now it's possible that this person is playing the victim card as well here but this is someone who's definitely feeling like they they're sort of like in this sort of um uh, this weird situation, weird place, but they can't do anything or they couldn't do anything. This very well could be someone with the King of Pentacles who does, this is someone who is stuck in their comfort zone. It's very difficult for them to outgrow their comfort zone. So whatever they know, uh, they will keep sticking to that. Even if that doesn't make happy, they will keep doing that. This is someone who prefers security over anything. So whatever is making them secure, uh, they will just stick to it. Even if that means like a particular um, habit this person has, they will keep sticking to it because that makes them secure. A particular uh, anything, a mindset this person has that makes them feel secure. They will keep sticking to that mindset even if it's not serving them. They will keep sticking to their job even if it's not serving them, even if it's not making them happy, even if it's not leading to somewhere, they are still going to uh, keep sticking to that because it's just security for this person. It, it, that, that is how this person feels safe and secure. This is actually someone who feels insecure from within, which is why the need, the desperate need for this person to control the environment or control the situation here. Now, bottom of the deck is nine of wands hermit page of uh wands here again with the hermit and the devil here this person keeps thinking about whatever like they are deeply hurt here this is someone who's mourning as well they're grieving and mourning and it's like they don't know wh what is happening or what direction their life is going to go next this is someone who feels like they don't you know like whatever they're trying to control as i said this is someone who was they're stick, stuck uh they stick to that particular mindset or they, they are stuck in that job or they are stuck in that particular lifestyle whatever this is this person remains stuck to because it was uh because it for security for uh just like to feel safe to feel secure because that is all they know this person feels like that is not working for them anymore and the universe is sort of forcing this person to change direction here change things change direction 
to start something new, to go in a different direction, to do something different here than what they are used to. It's almost like this person is being pushed towards that and they are feeling this unsafe kind of energy as to they don't know where they are going, what they are doing or what is going to happen next or if they take that risk because this person really, really feels that urge to take that risk but they don't know if it's going to pay for them. Now, this could be regarding anything in the life, like anything like career, uh, a situation, job, or this could be regarding this connection as well here. This person feels like the universe is pushing them to take a risk here, but they don't know if that risk is going to pay off or not. Hmm. Okay. This is also someone who does have uh, trust issues. King to the Queen of Pentacles. King and Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Yeah. This is someone who holds on to things in a toxic way, even if it's not working for them. This is all this person knows. We could be dealing with an Earth sign here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We already have Virgo and Capricorn here, and then we have the King and the Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. A lot of earthy energy here. So yes, you could be dealing with an Earth sign. Well, this is your energy here. Yeah, uh, we have the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck, Six of Cups in reverse and strength here strength and a four of pentacles this is a lot of stubbornness in this person's part this is your energy you could be dealing with another leo here but this is this person they want to apologize to you they want to bring an offer towards you with the queen of pentacles and the knight of cups this is someone who wants to do something different here uh, again as i said they want to take this this risk here because this person feels like apologizing to you or bringing an offer towards you is a big risk they are taking I don't know why they think it's it's like a risk here, but probably of what ha whatever happened between the both of you. This very well could have been an unhealthy connection because we do have the devil here. The devil does talk about a codependent connection. So this very well could have been that a lot of unhealthy things happened. Uh, you know, a lot of like uh, things happened that were not really supposed to happen almost. That's how it, it feels like. So whatever this uh, uh, happened here, this person could be very well thinking that after that, approaching you is taking a big risk. This person knows that this is someone who is slowly getting aware of the fact that they need to work on themselves. They, they have some things they need to fix here. With the Six of Cups in reverse, this person could have some deep-seated childhood issues. This person also could be like, um, there's something that happened in this person's past here that they're very, very stuck onto. They haven't yet managed to, uh, you know, disconnect from that. Also, again, with the Six of Cups in reverse, this is someone because their heart is so blocked or because they have some deep childhood traumas. This is someone who finds it very difficult to, uh, you know, like, go with the flow or be spontaneous be have that playful energy or even to forgive you know it's very possible this person hasn't even forgiven themselves of what has happened in the past or they are holding some sort of grudge again if something happened in their childhood this person could be holding some sort of grudge against whoever this person feels wronged them in their childhood you know this person might have felt very wronged in their childhood or very wronged in a past relationship or a past connection and this person is still holding on to that grudge here because of which this person isn't able to move forward and isn't able to go in uh, like actually invest completely in a different relationship in a different connection they're still holding on to this grudge for some of you this is simply this person not being able to forgive themselves or forgive someone else that did them wrong in the past which is why this person is just constantly they keep revisiting uh, that thing over and over again unable to completely forgive and let go and move forward here
it's almost like this person sees you as someone who is who um is like like you are some sort of passion for them you know like you are um you are you are you compliment them right king and queen of pentacles you are the counterpart you compliment them you, you are good for them so they think as, as uh, they think of you as some sort of like a uh, passion or something they would like to win that, that kind of energy i'm getting here but again this is someone who is very definitely they are holding on to things unhealthy things that they need to let go of it's almost like this person's strength has been tested here can they let go of whatever is happening in the past for some of you this person just needs to grow up the six of cups in reverse this is someone who just needs to grow up they need to leave their comfort zone they need to leave whatever isn't serving them anymore they need to leave that cocoon they have been in for too long this is someone who needs to uh Take that risk. This person also could be someone who, you know, they want to do things, they, they want some sort of results, they want some sort of success here. But again, they feel like they, they are not having that success or they are not happy. They are, they are not getting what they truly want. They, they Again, this seems like a very work thing for this person as well. Very possible. Because this person feels like they, they are not satisfied. Wherever they are, this person isn't really satisfied. It's like they are putting in the effort and whatever it needs to be put, put in effort into. But they are not really happy or satisfied about it. So they are just doing it in a very like machine sort of a way. You know, like someone who's just doing it because they have to. Someone whose heart is not, is not in it, but they are still doing it. It's very exhausting energy with this person. I feel a little drowsy here uh, when I'm focusing on that eight of pentacles. So again, someone who's doing the same thing over and over again. For some of you, this person could be losing sleep as well here. I don't know why I got that energy with the hermit. That is the energy I'm getting. Some, uh, this person could be losing sleep. Because they can't find a way out. The, this is what I got. This person is losing sleep because they can't find a way out. You know that almost they can't find a way out without taking a huge risk here. This is someone who definitely wants to charm you with the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. They definitely want to charm you. They want to be romantic with you and have a romantic offer and bring a romantic offer towards you. You know, like uh, sort of like sweep you off your feet, that sort of an energy. But again, uh, th this person is like, um, they need to change certain things about their life. They need to change themselves here. For some of you, this person could be just simply, uh, you know, they... This is someone who... Um, they have that non-committal kind of energy. And that, that could be what this person needs to change if they want to come towards you. If they want to make things right with you. Because they definitely see you as some, their match. This person also feels like being with you is hard work, you know, like they have to put in a lot of hard work and effort regularly. Only then they can make it possible to either come towards you or make it work with you, which is again a big deal for this person because they have to, they know they have to put in a lot of hard work and effort. They have to consistently put in hard work. It's almost like you are demanding from this person that they put in the effort, they put in the work, they put in the hard work, they put in the 
necessary effort, time and patience into this. There's no shortcut for it. This is what this person is realizing. With you, there's no shortcut for it. They can't uh, go through a shortcut and then have you or be with you. Because they definitely see you as someone who's very hardworking and very, like you can handle everything and you totally know your worth and value. So yeah, why, why would you settle for anything less? Why would you want to be with someone who breadcrumbs you? Or why would you want to be with someone who will not put in the equal amount of effort? There's no going to be no equal give and take here. Yeah, four of pentacles. Their heart could very, very be blocked here. Like, yeah, they, they just refuse to... They just refused to open up and let, let this energy in, let this connection in, let you in. Could be a very materialistic person you are dealing with as well here. Someone who is very focused on the material aspects of life. They just keep, um, again, things that, things that doesn't really make them happy, they they do it it's very possible this person hoards things or they are very into materialistic things they're very into material objects here and the simple reason being is they try to do all of that to feel validated to feel good this is someone it's almost like this was someone who was very very shallow in a way and you're forcing this person to go deeper you are you're forcing this person to dive deeper To look inside as well here. This is what you're forcing this person to do. To look inside. And it is a big deal for this person. It is a big change for this person here. Ten of Wands, Eight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, look at the Pentacles again. Bottom of the deck is Moon, Judgment, Four of Cups. You could be dealing with Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. This person is very disappointed in the negative experiences of whatever has happened in the life previously because of which they are like why should i bother investing why should i bother putting in the effort nothing works for me again a very pessimistic energy with this person here why should i bother like in the long run nothing works out for me in the long run nothing has ever worked out for me uh or you know like i have seen oh uh, people around me for whom it didn't work out so why would it work out for me anything here like either the past experiencing defining it or their environment defining it judgment talks about second chances um judgment also talks about having that clarity with the eight of swords here whatever this person was stuck on now uh, for some of you this person is definitely stuck on you they're stuck on the idea eight of swords in the judgment they're the first energy uh before i wanted to say whatever i say uh wanted to say uh i got that energy with the eight of swords in the judgment is this is someone who's stuck on the idea of having that second chance with you they're stuck on it but then with the Ten of Wands and the Moon, there's that contradictory energy. It 
it's 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 going to be too much can i have that uh the insecurities the fears the illusion This person's insecurities and fear uh, is, is the reason this person is someone who doesn't take action. Someone who didn't take any action. Someone who didn't make any proper moves. The reason is simply their insecurity and fears. It's like they already think that this is not going to work. So why put in any more effort here? This person also feels with the Eight of Swords and the Judgment, whatever action they want to take, uh, they can't, they're not being able to do it. They can't do it. They will not be able to do it. Or they will not be successful in having that second chance with you. They will be rejected by you. They will be ignored by you. And this is, again, this person's mind telling them things. This is not, like... Until unless they do actually approach you, actually come towards you and try to fix things, it's, what's the point of just sitting there and thinking of the negative uh, outcome over and over again? What I'm also getting here is this person actually trying tries to soothe themselves by saying that, oh, you're going to reject them. You know, like they are trying to pacify themselves almost by saying that, uh, oh, it's, it's um, Leo is already going to reject me. That's why I'm not approaching. Like they are making up excuses for not approaching you. And they, they themselves are like, they are telling themselves these excuses. They're like they are fooling themselves. They are, they are giving excuses to themselves. Especially if their intuition is really, really pushing this person here. They are making excuses for why not, they are not already, they are not doing it or they are not, or they haven't already done it. It's like there's a voice in this person's head that actually just uh, keeps pulling them back into uh, whatever insecurities and fears they have. And this person just keeps giving into that voice. Not to mention this person also thinks that, you know, like they, they think that they can't see things clearly here. They might not be able to see things clearly right now. They might not be able to understand their emotions better. Like this person feels like they don't know themselves well. They don't know their feelings well. What if this is just some, you know, like uh, they just have these romantic feelings that are going to fade away. This is just wishful thinking or this is just a crush they have on you and it's going to go away. Whatever this just fades. Because again, we uh, the only cups card we have is the Knight of Cups here. And the Six of Cups is in reverse. was an upright but it fell on the table in reverse here hanged man six of pentacles
some of you uh, you you feel like you know like you don't see this person as a sort of wish fulfillment anymore with the nine of cups in reverse you feel like this person may not be the one you like you you thought they were the one but they, you might have been wrong about that So maybe it's time you need to focus on yourself. It's time you need to focus on healthy selfishness here. Instead of focusing on this uh, connection or this person. Because this is this just turned out to be like a dis big disappointment for you. And it didn't, it did definitely not turn out the way you would have wanted it to. For some of you, you might have even felt trapped in this situation, in this connection. Because you felt this was the one, like this is what, this, is, this was your wish fulfillment. But at the same time, the, the actions this person showed you, it showed you different. So you felt like this is, you felt this connection, you felt like this, this person totally compliments you or there's potential here. But the way this person was acting, behaving or whatever they were doing, they were proving you wrong. They were proving otherwise. You're doubting whether that equal give and take will be possible anymore here. Is it possible? Is it uh, like... Yeah, look at that temperance here. You're just trying to focus on yourself and balance yourself here. You're trying to heal as well because you might be feeling very depleted again. You could very well have um, really had high hopes. That is what I got. You really had high hopes when it comes to this connection, when it comes to this person. And you are feeling very down. You are feeling, you uh, like you have felt or you are feeling very low about how this did not just go well. So the disappointment is real and you're just trying to heal that and balance that and be patient with yourself. You know, just not lose patient or not, not lose your cool here. Trying to heal yourself. What I'm picking up here randomly is for some of you, you might be feeling a little bit hopeless when it comes to love as well here. Like you are slowly not completely given up on hope when it comes to love, but not that hopeful either. Not, not very enthusiastic or hopeful about love either. Like somewhere in, in the middle. You're trying to understand the heartbreak that happened here. You're trying to understand the pain that happened here. Like, you are questioning, was I expecting too much? Should Maybe I should have seen this thing better. Maybe I should have been more patient here. Maybe I jumped too soon. Maybe I was too uh, over-enthusiastic about this. Uh, maybe I should have tried to know this person better before um, making any decision about them. You're thinking a lot of things here. And you're in a very contemplating kind of mood. Uh, like uh, this is not a very action oriented mood. You're not taking any action when it comes to uh, this person or in love or in uh, it, it, like regarding love or any romantic connection. You are not taking any action. You're just trying to understand like 
why this person cheated you, treated you the way they did, and what you should have, like how, how you should have done it differently, how you could have done differently or how you could in future do things differently when it comes to love, when it comes to romantic connections. What do you need to do differently when it comes to your future? What you need to focus on right now first? How you need to heal? For some of you, you really do need a break here. For some of you, you felt very stuck uh, and trapped in when it comes to romantic connections for uh, uh, for a while, you know, like you felt very stuck uh, in romantic connections, like nothing ever happens the way you want to. It's just like the same thing keeps happening over and over again. Things just don't, uh, things are not solved. Things just get worse after a while. It starts good, but it just uh, goes bad after a while. Like you have been, uh, you have felt very unsatisfied in this connection. You uh, could have felt very unsatisfied in previous romantic connection as well here. And you're trying to understand why you, I, I'm getting that energy. You need to focus on healing and self-love here a little bit. Like practice gratitude and uh, uh, heal yourself a bit. Focus on loving yourself first, putting yourself first and giving yourself the time you need. So you could be dealing with Aries or an Aquarius. This person feels like uh, the stagnancy has been there here for a while now. It's, it's been more than a while that things are just stuck here. We did have the hangman in your energy. So you might have, uh, you might still feel like, you know, like you, you are still stuck on this person one way or the other. You haven't yet managed to get over them yet. There's no forward movement here. So it's like trapped in the middle, stuck in the middle. Neither are you completely over them, neither can you get completely over them, nor you are being able to, nor things are getting better between the both of you. And of swords showing up again. Ace of Pentacles. 
Five of Wands. Look at that. Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Fool and the Ace of Pentacles. This is someone who really wants that new beginning with you. With the Fool and the Ace of Pentacles. But this person with the Two of Cups and Ten of Swords here, they feel very, very distressed here. This is someone who's feeling a lot of distress. That when a card repeats twice, it's like double confirmation. So Ten of Swords and that too, the Ten of Swords is the first card in this person's energy. The first card is always the dominant energy. So the Ten of Swords is the first card and then the Ten of Swords repeated here again. This person is like... They are in that woe is me and they can't think positive here. Even though they want this new beginning with the fool and the ace of pentacles, this person feels like if they come towards you, either it's going to be a huge fight between the both of you, a lot of clashing between the both of you, ego clashes, and things are just going to go worse between the both of you than they, than it already is, or they, uh, the, you are outright going to reject them. So they want that new beginning, but they don't feel confident enough to come towards you or they, they are in a lot of pain. This person is also creating fake scenarios in their head about you rejecting them. Yeah, Page of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. The should I, shouldn't die. This is literally this person creating fake scenarios in their head about you rejecting them, you uh, throwing them out, or you saying some mean things to them. You both having a huge fight, which will make things more worse between the both of you. And then this will become beyond repair. Three of Pentacles, King of Cups, yeah, star in reverse, could be dealing with an Aquarius, and bottom of the deck is Four of Pentacles and Eight of Wands. This is someone, star in reverse, this is someone who is feeling hopeless that things are going to work out here. That's the reason this person is holding back because they feel hopeless. Because with the King of Cups and the Eight of Wands, this is someone who really wants to talk to you, really want to communicate to you and tell you about their feelings, what they feel here, what they have been feeling lately. How have they been feeling lately? Also the three and the four of pentacles, ace of pentacles in the mix again. We already have the ace of pentacles here. But this person has almost like, uh, they are feeling hopeless with the star in reverse. This is someone who doesn't have any sort of hope left. They're already assuming the worst. So of course this person doesn't have any hope. This person just needs to take some action here instead of just uh, sitting there and doing nothing. Bottom of the deck is the Emperor here and I just randomly cut the deck and here's the Empress, Emperor and the Empress. So they definitely still see you as a match but they feel like this is a hopeless situation. It's better to maybe just give up. I'm not ready yet. I don't know yet. I don't know what exactly to do or say yet. This, this is someone who, who probably will never feel they are ready.
and we'll just keep holding back until it's, I don't know, like too late, I guess. Because for some of you, you really want forward movement here with this person. You really want to fix things. You really want to work things out with this person. So I'm just like, they're not doing anything here. So what are you going to do all by yourself? Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Well, that's your reading, Leo. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.